Hi! In this tutorial, I'm gonna create an inventory system in Unity, so stick around until the end. I will create two inventory systems. The first one is a simple inventory system without any details, but the second one I will use uh, scriptable objects and add details to each items, for example, uh, weapons. First, I need to explain the scene. I have a first person controller, first person character, that I have a simple movement and camera rotation. And also my uh, weapon here is rotating. I've attached a simple uh, rotator script to it. And also I have an image as the point in the scene. The main script I want to modify is the ray caster that it attached to the camera. Raycaster is a simple raycast system that emits a ray as far as two units and when I press the E key, it will print out the object that the ray has been collided with. I will replace this line with another code that I can destroy the weapon from the scene and add it to the inventory and the player's list. But before that, let's try it and press the E key. As you can see in the console, here I can see the name. I can create a player script and an array or list for it and add the transform, the weapon transform to it, but I want to create a more complicated system. For example, let's create a mono behavior script. I'm using Unity 6.1 and the C sharp scripts are called mono behavior script in this version. But all the codes I will write are usable in other versions, previous versions. Don't worry about it. And let's create a script and uh, rename it to weapon, for example. I want to attach this script to all the weapon items in the scene. Here I can add anything I want. For example, a uh, public string weapon name and for example public void shoot and add other instructions but i want another script for the player itself where management player inventory and player behaviors except the player movement and here uh for example player Here I need to declare uh, the array for the inventor system, a public, an array of weapon. But I don't want to use array because I can't add items at runtime dynamically. We have another system called lists and we can easily add items dynamically at runtime to it and also it has many methods for example for ordering the items finding them remove them and so on i just need to add a library using system.collections.generic and here instead of the array list weapon and weapons and i need to uh, create a new list for it to initialize the list here this is my inventory and i need to manage it in this player script for example let's add a method add weapon called add weapon and here i need to add a parameter this method will be executed uh, here instead of the print. And here I need a weapon parameter. Weapon. Alright. I want to easily 
add it to the weapons list and also I can check the weapons and if this weapon is exists in this weapon list so don't add it but I don't want to do it I just want to add it easily first weapon excuse me weapon right and then I can print the weapons weapons index zero the first weapon I just want to uh, test it in the raycaster I need to declare a player variable and call uh, its method uh, we can use serial, serialized field private player and player with serialized field I can access the private variables in the editor and assign anything to it here I need to execute the add weapon and here if uh, I need to check the ray and the transform and then I need to call the get component if the transform has a weapon component then pass it to this method but I need to execute this here as well but if I want to prevent uh, to executing it twice I can execute it here and hold it in a temporary variable all right now I can check the W if the W is exist and it's not null so added to the weapon list here save it and let's execute it all right now in the raycaster we have a player field i need to add player here and as you can see the weapon list has been created all right assign it to it and then attach the weapon script to the weapon now play the game all right i pressed e and as you can see the first item in the list is fm lot zero this object and let's see the fps controller and as you can see the first item is here all right now I want to implement a system that when I add the weapon to the weapon list I need to destroy the game object but I can't destroy it actually because I don't have access to the destroyed weapon in this list because I will send a reference to the weapon here and when I destroy the weapon we don't have access to the weapon actually but I can for example, make it invisible. W.transform.gameObject. Excuse me. Game object that set active equals to false. Now let's try it. Here, if I press E, as you can see, we have we have access to, to the weapon, and also the weapon is not visible in the scene. It's not active anymore. Now let's make the system more advanced and add a scriptable object. Scriptable objects, if you don't know about them, will store the weapon or other items or even player data and actually we have access to the data through the scriptable objects separately and the methods and instructions from the mono behavior scripts this separation will help us to create a ordered structure and more organized project here i need to create a mono behavior script and call it weapon info here i need to uh, change the mono behavior to scriptable object and I need to add an attribute so with this attribute I will add I can create 
uh, scriptable object instances easily through the create menu. Let's see. We need to call the create asset menu and I need to pass two parameters to it. First is the file name and the second is menu name. I will call the file name and equals to a string for example weapon info and the menu name i can uh, give a path to it for example weapon and weapon info let's see here i can easily right click go to the create and here I have a weapon menu and weapon info, as you can see. I can click on it and it will create a scriptable object instance for me. And I can call it fmfall, my weapon name, fmfall uh, info. And here I can declare any variable I want in public form. For example, public string weapon name. Let's see. As you can see, a string fill has been added for me. And I can assign any info I want to it. Also, here I can add methods and instructions. But I don't recommend uh, to add complicated instructions for example reloading should and other for example you can add a method that will check the number of bullets here i can add max bullet here and all bullets and also i can add a variable of, uh, of transform and assign the 3D model to it. I can easily instantiate uh, this 3D model anywhere I want, for example, in the player's hand and so on. Let's name it transform and save it. Here I have many attributes. Add a name and max split. Uh, 30 and all bullets are 90 and the transform is this here I have the weapon info and next I need to uh, remove this line and add a weapon info variable public weapon info weapon info and now I have access to many attributes here with just one variable. For example, in the shot, I can call uh, the all bullets and reduce it. And here, instead of the uh, instead of passing the transform itself, the weapon itself to the player, I can send the weapon info instead of it because sending a transform in the scene to a player is Lucy and uh, the weapon game object can be destroyed anytime. So here instead of the weapon I can create a weapon info and weapon info and here I need to change this and here. All right and in the raycaster I need to send the weapon info, for example, w dot weapon info. All right. Here I need to assign this scriptable object instance to the weapon info and play the game. All right. Here I have access to the fm file info and I can easily instantiate the game object, this transform, anywhere and anytime I want. And here I can easily destroy the game object. I don't need it anymore because I have the info. Uh, transform.gameObject. 
here. Let's play it. This is a simple inventor system. You can make it more complicated and add more capabilities. For example, preventing from adding duplicate items and uh, so on. Let's add another capability here the public void and use. It will instantiate a uh, weapon based on this transform. It only receives parent object transform and parent. It will instantiate the transform and add it to the parent. I can add, uh, for example, position and rotation to it. And I don't need to uh, add this instantiate code in the player. And declaring this method here is very useful. You can download these codes from Black Vessel the store, and the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.